Greetings to all. Welcome back to the course on MATLAB Simulink. So we are into the module two, and today we'll be learning about the mathematical modeling of of any system using equations. So here on the screen you can see that I have written an equation. This equation is for the aerodynamic drag which vehicle faces during its running. So here you can see that F A D is the force. Or the reaction force which the moving vehicle faces when it runs on a road or any or the plane any moving vehicle faces aerodynamic dynamic, uh, reaction so here i have shown a car and which is moving towards uh, opposite to the wind and the wind is giving the air drag so the expression is written like this and this expression is uh, standard expression where rho is the air density a is the frontal area of the uh, this is the frontal area this one is the area of the vehicle okay cd is the constant cd is a constant rho is the air density which which we usually take as air density which we take as 1.23 and v is the velocity in meter per second so the velocity of the vehicle is uh, is taken as meter per second and velocity of wind which can be for or against the vehicle the wind may be flowing uh, with the vehicle or it may be opposing the vehicle so it is also written in meter per second in case of uh, wind flowing opposite to the direction of vehicle we take this plus as minus so this plus can be minus also but the important part here is how to model this equation into the system so i have written here a small uh, model screenshot where the input is taken as this is taken as a input the speed is taken as a input and speed is coming inside the system and it is being done square u square is a function which which multiplies any input with itself so it is a square it makes the any input to the square of that input then the then this whole is being multiplied with cd ad rho and half which is shown here half rho ad and cd and the output is shown here so similarly any equation can be formed in terms of a black box where some input which the user define so user can define any input in case the speeds are being constant then in case you want to make a system where you want to see the force changing with respect to rho with respect to rho so you will be deciding that rho will be the input and force will be the output and rest will be the constants so here the rest the constants are being modeled inside the system and input and output are shown so similarly this we will be doing okay so we will be moving to the uh, screen too so here i have shown this subsystem this subsystem is a system for this is showing the mathematical model of that aerodynamic drag so equation is 0.5 rho ad cd v uh, vehicle velocity plus wind velocity and the force square so when i run this i can see that what are the speeds i am getting here so uh, for zero speed the force is zero and uh, you can see here uh, what are the this is a drive cycle a simple drive cycle which i have taken so maybe the model is not correct the model setting we as we have discussed the model setting must be in discrete so od5 so we will be decreasing it to 1 e minus 3 i want small step and 190 the time period of this drive cycle is 195 so i am putting the time period of the this has drive cycle is 190 so we can see the result in scope we can see that the corresponding to the speed we are getting this torque profile so this torque profile is required by the machine so at particular speed the machine requires some torque and that torque calculation to overcome the aerodynamic drag is shown in this graph okay so these are the 
this is how we can make a system of a aerodynamic drum. Now, what we will be doing? We will be going back to the our presentation. So now we will be learning about the description of a vehicle movement. So in case of vehicles, there are three basically resistive forces. So as you know, a vehicle has an engine which develops a traction force. So the work of traction force is to move the vehicle forward. But there is always a reaction force on any moving object. So those forces are called resistive forces or in that forces when turns in rotational uh, motion is known as resistive torque. So in any vehicle moving forward with a speed velocity with a speed of v, say v is the velocity of speed. So that vehicle like this is a velocity of speed. Okay. So that vehicle will face three forces, three resistive forces. These forces are aerodynamic drag, which we have learned in the last few. Second is the rolling resistance. Rolling resistance is the forces acting on the tire. So the tire will have friction and that friction will cause rolling resistance. And third is the gradient. Gradient is the extra power vehicle requires to travel when there is a slope. So gradient can be positive, negative depending on the slope. So is, if we are going downhill, then the gradient will be in our favor. And if we are going uphill, then the gradient will be resistive in nature. So these three expressions, like the first we have already discussed, is aerodynamic drag is written like this. Okay. The second one, the rolling resistance is written as mu. Mu is the rolling resistance coefficient and it is different for different vehicles. M is the mass, G is the gravitational pull and cos theta is the, theta is the angle between the vehicle and the horizontal surface. Maybe the road is like this. So this is the theta and this is your vehicle. This is your vehicle. So this is your vehicle. Okay. And the forces total summation and uh, the last one is mg sin theta which is a gradient component of the force. So all these three forces when multiplied with the radius of tire. This is radius of tire. Radius of tire gives us tire torque. The torque that is required at the tire to move. So a motor and the force which we are discussing right now are related to uh, in this fashion. So a force is a torque divided by the radius of the tire. So these expression you can see and also the motor is always coupled with a gear ratio. So the motor might not have that much torque. So we will be using a gear ratio to upgrade the torque or to multiply the torque in the multiples of the gear ratio. Suppose the gear ratio is 5 and your motor can produce 20 Newton meter of torque then 20 into 5 we are getting 100 Newton meter at tire. So the gear ratio is very important. Also the motor speed is high. So when the torque uh, multiplies with the gear ratio, the speed decreases with the gear ratio. So this is very important. So now we will be going to the MATLAB simulating model and seeing how we have made this uh, equations into the model and we will be taking a random drive cycle or a drive cycle and corresponding to that we will be seeing how much torque is required at what speed the torque is required. So this is the MATLAB simulating environment where I have developed a similar equation which we have discussed. So this is the equation we have already discussed. So this is the RW is the radius of the wheel. Then the second part in the bracket is the corresponding to the aerodynamic drag. The second part correspond to the rolling resistance, the resistance faced by the vehicle while it is rolling. So it is due to tire. And the third part is due to the, due to gradient, so mg sin theta. So all this I will be incorporating here. So I will be explaining one by one the block. So, so first we will be discussing about the aerodynamic drag which I have drawn here. So this is the aerodynamic drag. Okay. So here if I click into the box, 
I have clicked into the box, I can see the similar thing which I have made. I have taken input as a speed, then I multiplied the input speed with the I am in the input is being squared and then multiply with the constant and I am getting F drag, the force of the drag. Okay. So I am making it like this. Also, this block is how I have made this block is I have done. You can select any of the system with input and output and you can right click on this and create subsystem from the selection. So you can make the subsystem like this. So I made the subsystem. I'm I don't want to make it. So you can make the system by selecting a model. So this box, how I have compact everything into the box is by selecting the option and then click right clicking and creating subsystem. So one thing is clear that aerodynamic drag is like this. Okay. The second part is the mu mg cos theta. So the rolling resistance is here. So I can paint rolling resistance with a, a different color. So I can go to format, background color and I can keep it green. So green is the rolling resistance. Similarly, I can uh, put color to this also. I can can color to the this one and uh, so we'll be going to the rolling resistance. So what is rolling resistance? Mu mg cos theta. Okay. So this is wrongly written sign. This should be cos. Okay. This is cos. So mg cos I am multiplying all three and then I am multiplying with the rolling resistance. Okay, I can put it here and I can put it here. So the rolling resistance coefficient is 0 0.01 and mu mg sin theta I am multiplying with this and getting frr or the rolling resistance force. Then I am going back. Okay. Then the third part is mg sin theta. So mg sin theta I can paint this as magenta. So this is the gradient, the force due to gradient. So force due to gradient is mg sin theta. Okay, sin theta is already coming here. So this is sin and theta can be written. Similarly, we'll see the sin theta is coming inside, and we are multiplying and getting the F grade. Okay, gradient force. So the question is how to get theta. So there is a block which is known as sine block. So I am putting an angle from here. So angle can be constant and always remember the MATLAB takes input as a angle input as in radian not in theta or in degree. So the this block takes 2 pi mu or the 2 pi uh, mu as the theta. So the mu is already being multiplied by 2 pi. So I have to divide it with the 2 pi. So I am writing here angle as 0 degree divided by 2 pi. So that when this is being multiplied inside this sign then the 2 pi 2 pi cancels. Okay, this block can be sine block. You can search his, this from here. Sine block, sine. Okay, you can also use this kind of block. You could double click it and you can see. So I am using a sine cross block. Okay, and I am giving angle from here. You can also give angle, some angle. Suppose 5 degree of angle. Okay, 5 degree of angle, then it will be working like this. The another force, which is, these are the resistive forces. Then apart from resistive forces, there is also another force which is an acceleration force. What is acceleration force? Suppose you are you are uh, pushing the throttle of the vehicle. So the vehicle apart from facing the resistance of gradient, rolling resistance and drag, it will also accelerate. So that acceleration will depend on the, will also require a force. So that accelerating force required is due to, is can be given as m into a okay so m into a so i can paint this as orange so this is the m into a block so i can mark this also into a subsystem so i can subsystem how to make subsystem right click and create subsystem so i have made this a subsystem this subsystem input one input is one input is m and another input is, input is a. and output is force due to acceleration force due to acceleration okay okay this is i have written you can also change the font from here the font style can be changed we can write bold and italic so this is like this okay the color can be changed from the format background and orange okay so these are the four forces acting on the vehicle 
so how to get the acceleration is using a derivative law we know that the drive cycle will be giving the speed so it will be giving the speed in what it will be giving in kilometer per hour you can also take into meter per second but i am taking in kilometer per hour then i am converting it into meter per second to show you how we can convert it 1 by 3.6 and here we are getting the at this point we are getting the speed in meter per second so that meter per second speed when we do the derivative we get the whenever we are doing the derivative we are getting the acceleration and that acceleration into mass is creating a force due to acceleration so these are the four forces then these four forces i am adding up and finally the forces i am adding up will be multiplied with the rw or the radius of the tire which is r radius and this is a uh, this is a gear ratio which you can take or you can eliminate depending on at what point you are doing the calculation so this is the parameters we are using so we can again increase the font of this these are the parameter if you can, cannot see it we can increase the formatting of this okay So a vehicle is of 300 kg, aerodynamic drag is 2.1, uh, the area of frontal area is 2.1 meter per square and rho is 1.23 and these are the other parameters and g we are, we are taking as 10, the gear ratio. So as we start running, so we can uh, see the everything in the scope, so we can see in the scope, so we can put the scope here and also we can put the scope here, so we can see all, every type of the torque, torque on the wheel, torque on the motor. So as we go to this, we can see that we can run here. This we can see. Okay, we can put the, we can, uh, right now you can see that all the two things are coming on the same window. So we want uh, window to be different. So we'll be going to the view, layout, and I want two windows. So these are the two windows, then I can zoom in. To get the proper picture so here you can see that the uh, actual motor torque is 80 newton meter but the torque on the wheel is 800 because the gear ratio is 10 so you can see that the how the torque is changing as the vehicle speed is changing and also the vehicle speed can be taken as here in kilometer per second you will be taking and again running the program so layout can be three because now we have another one so you can see so this is a drive cycle the speed goes to 10 km 15 km per second then 35 km per second then 50 km per second then coming to halt so for this kind of driving profile we need a torque at wheel 800 newton meter for vehicle like this okay so this is how we can make a mathematical model of a system if we have the equations so from the next video, we'll be learning about the uh, how to produce a sine wave, how to produce a PWM wave, and how to do the FFT analysis of the waveforms. Thank you. So this is the MATLAB simulating environment where I have developed a similar equation which we have discussed. So this is the equation we have already discussed. So this is RW is the radius of the wheel then the second part in the bracket is the corresponding to the aerodynamic drag the second part 